Mm. Oh, guys, am I there? I have no clue. All right, let's see if I, oh, I'm there. Holy cow, guys, finally. Oh, all right, let's see. Um, live chat. Hi, guys. You know, one of these days I'm going to figure out this new one. Do you guys hear? I'm here. Okay, so. Oh, guys, you got no clue what it's like on the other side. Hi, everybody. Oh, finally, I made it. Yay! I love it when things come together. Hello, Angela. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Boone. Is it raining in Pennsylvania? Yuck. Guys, we had three days of rain here. I'd had about enough of it. I'd really gotten to the point where I was done. It was getting bad. Wow. Oh, good, Karen. Hi. Hi, Rona. Um, let's see. Elizabeth made it. Hi, Jeannie from West Texas or from Texas. Wow. Oh, shoot. I got stuck on top chat again instead of live. Holy Toledo, guys. I don't like this. Oh, you had seven, and we'll have more this week. Um, seven what, Mary? Um, let's see. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Pam. I know, Carrie. I'm like Yahoo, too. It's like, wow. Oh, is it gorgeous in Washington? It Well, we're kind of cloudy today. It's been better, but it's been a whole lot worse. Oh, good, Diane. I It was on my end, not on your end, guys. Hi, Rolene. Hi, Libby. Raining in Florida. Yuck, I'm sorry. I am. I don't like it when it gets raining like this all the time. Okay, um, we got a couple things to do quick, quick that I don't want to forget to do because you guys all know me. I forget to do things that I'm supposed to do. And then um, I want to show you guys some stuff. So I'm going to see if I can adjust the camera a little bit because I want you to watch me. Okay, there I am. You can probably see a little bit of a mess back there too, so... Welcome to my daily mess. Okay, guys, I want to show you something. On the half square triangle swap, I'm gonna um I'm gonna show you a little hint to get your fabrics together better. Okay. So I'm gonna start with Gail. I want to double check with you and make sure that I'm pressing in the right direction. We're pressing towards the gray fabrics, correct? I believe that's where we were. That's what we decided on in the end. But I want to double check with Gail because she's my leading expert. The first thing that I do is I press my seams to set them. Now, this is at the point that I've just sewn a couple together, okay? 
So I have, you guys will all know one of my fabrics this way. See, we I've got a dark gray and then I've got a print. All right, those are my two colors. Yep, four patches. Um, oh, the instructions do say to press towards the color. Okay, you guys might have gotten some then from me that are pressed towards the grays because I thought we decided on the grays. But if the instructions say towards the color, we'll do towards the color. And in the end, as long as what you're doing is consistent, we'll be okay, okay? So the first thing I did was I set my seams. I'll press towards the color because that's what my instructions say. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it over my strip stick, okay? And I'm going to press it again. Now, sometimes what also helps when you're pressing them is to just pick the fabric up a little bit, okay? Guys, I guess we better all do, do towards the color because a lot of people read the instructions other than me, okay? Okay, instructions say color. So from now on, try to press towards the color, okay? So here I go. Thank you, Mary. And I'm just pressing this puppy down. And you can see I've got my little travel iron and I've got my wool pressing mat. Now, now that I've done that, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to give it one more press. But now I'm going to put my color towards the top. So I can just kind of glide over it like this, all right? All right, so it just kind of keeps it all together really nice. Okay, I got to do one more and then I can show you what I wanted to show you. For the most part, oh, I'll show you another way that you can press it too that might help. Because some of you don't have a strip stick. So I'll show you the other way to do it. All right. So the other way to do it is to lay your fabric down. I'm going to go diagonally so I have a little bit more space. Lay your fabric down, okay? Pick up your print side. I got the print side up. And then what you're going to do is just take your iron and roll it over that fabric. But what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're not stretching the fabric when you do this. That's important because remember you've got bias in here and you can absolutely easily stretch bias. Okay? So here's the two of them. I'll show you both of them. Here's one and then here's my other one. Okay? So here they both are. I'm going to do one more set my seam on this one because I really want my seam good and flat. Okay. Now, oh shoot, I see what I've done too. Anybody, I can't cut these because I got the exact same fabrics. What we're going to do, and it may not work every single month, but what we're going to do is try to put different grays every in our four patches, okay? So try really hard. Um, Lindsay, do you see that Darth Vader? Can you get rid of that person? <sighs> Wait a minute. I got to get, we got a stalker in here. All right, stalker's gone. So what happens when you press them like this? is you can take and line them up. May the quarter be with you. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> what you can do is take and just butt these right up together. Oh no, it wasn't a stalker. Oh no. Uh oh, Lindsay just said that wasn't a stalker. Oh, Lindsay, can you get her back? Lindsay, can you get her back in? Um, I don't want to put him in timeout. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Lindsay, 
Try to put her back in. Please try to put her back in. No, I put them out. You told me I had to block them. Oh, guys, I just did a stupid. Okay, so then what can happen is you can butt those two right together when you go, I'm going to show you, when you go to do your seams, okay? I see that now, Carrie. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Lindsay, just see if you can get her back. Please, whomever it was, get them back. I'm sorry. Somebody move me away from the computer. So then your seams will butt up really, really nice when you go to cut them, okay? Then when you go to sew them one more time, double check them to make sure that they're in together tight. Because um, what happened is we did end up with a few of them that weren't in good, okay? So we got to double check those, all right? The other thing I want you guys to double check is double check your tension on your machines. All right. Make sure that your tension is good. We had one that the tension was was not good at all. OK, so um, we need to double check that. So just double check the tension on your machine and make sure it's OK before you go farther. Yep, Rolene, you're correct. Makes, oh, thank God. Thank you. I'm so glad you're there still. I thought I blocked you out. I'm sorry. Um, so make sure that your stitch length is between two and two and a half. What do I mean by not good? We had one that came in that the seam... The seam was about like this, okay? It wasn't even close to being together, okay? All right, and then on the stitch length, we had one, and I'm not going to show it because I don't want the person to know that I don't want their block to be shown because I don't want them to be hurt. I, w I want you to just double check your tension and your stitch length. Your stitch length should be Yes, Brenda, 1.8 is fine. Any place between 1.8, probably 2.2, perfect, okay? Usually, someplace between around 2 is what people usually use, okay? Mine, I actually tend to, try, I tend to use a little bit bigger than 2. But, no, I'm not kind faith. I just don't want anybody's feelings hurt. You know, I know what it's like. I don't want anybody's feelings hurt. Hi, Faith. Oh, I'm sorry it's raining in Delaware again. Yuck. I'm sorry, Carla. The swap is closed at this stage. Yeah. Two is to... You're, okay, Rolene. See, I've only ever really stitched for a length of time on a Bernina. So, to me... You know, I follow theirs. A default at two, okay. Raining cats and dogs in PA two, yuck. Did you figure out how you had so many four patches left over after sending them out to all of us? Um, yeah, we did. Yep, we did. But um, yeah, we had a couple left over. We had a couple that got mixed up. We had we had. Um, some people that didn't get any, we had some people that, um, yeah, we had a couple mix up. It was funny cause we had, well, it wasn't funny for the poor person. We had two tables set up and each table had 33 on it. Well, guess what? <laughs> guess what? One person only got 33 blocks. So they were completely missing. Completely missing an entire patch, set of patches. So, um, yep, so that's that's that. I'm going to work on my four patches while we sit here because I want to get going on them. 
because I haven't had a chance. I have a burning it in decor and it all, but you always go down. Okay, to two. Yep. Oh, good, crusty. I want to do another swap again next year, okay? Bag came back without your name on it. That's okay, guys. We, you're, you're going to be getting a new bag every month, okay? But I still want you to put your names on the bags because when they come in, what I do is, oh, look at how cute that is. What I do is I go through them, and that's how I know whose bags are whose. Tell us about the blouse. Carrie, I made this shirt. Where is it? Over here. I made this shirt last week. Actually, last Sunday. Isn't it the cutest? I'm going to be making one in a tutorial for you, okay? I've got one coming up for it. All right. So I'm going to do that. Let's see. Sunday bag came back without. Yep. Sunday. Yep. That's right. It it did come back that way and that's okay. Just please make sure that you put your names on your bags when they come back to me. Okay. Because if you don't put your names on, on the bags, I won't know who they are. I put your name on it. Ding bat. Oh, <laughs> Mary. That's funny. Uh, Brenda, it's adorable, and it is so comfortable. So we'll be doing it. I've got two different fabric ways to do it. And um, if we hadn't had the um, drain issue that we had in our house this last week, I would have been wearing it today. But we had a little bit of an issue with the drain. So very easy carry. In fact, when I got done, I was thinking, why did I ever delay making it? Because it was really, really easy. It's very easy. Yep, I did it in two hours, I think it was. I made it. Made it one last Sunday morning. Yeah. I don't think it can be done in a knit, dear. I think it calls for, yep, it calls for a cotton of some sort. But this cotton behind me is an actual, um... It's an actual garment cotton, so it is an extremely, um, yes, Teresa, beginner easy. It is extremely light. Lindsay, tell them how lightweight it was. We were both amazed. It's very, very lightweight. Lindsay saw that, and she immediately wanted me to make her one. So you know if Lindsay wants it, it's cute. Um, Rolene, I do not know. I put an email into my account rep today. I went and tried to order them because I had another person who wanted two of them. And they said they're totally out of stock. So um, they said I could order them for the next shipment. But I don't know when the next shipment is yet. So I have asked her to please let me know. <laughs> Mary, I don't think i got time to make everybody one tear. I would love to, but did you make another granddaughter dress, Carrie? I want to sew for my grandchildren a little bit. Did the last drop procrastinate it too? Oh, I'm sorry, Joy, that you missed it. Well, I have been um, scheming up different things for a swap come, not a swap, but a quilt along come October. Yes, Peggy, it goes all the way up to 2X or 3X, I think. Hang on, let me double check because I've got it right here. Um, oh, it goes all the way to 4X, guys, so we're all set. Yep, we are completely set. Oh, that's the other thing, guys. You're right, Diane, I forgot about that one. Make certain the stuff that I'm doing right now, do not do that before you send them in. Hi, Lion. Don't, you don't have to do that, okay? So when you send in your blocks, they should not be, they should be just like this. All right? Just like this. You want to see who this is? You ready? There we go. Woo. There you go, Angela. 
So um, make sure that that's how they come back, all right? Because that was the other thing. We did have a couple that got pressed open. You guys are going to have enough pressing to do when you get your own block. So you don't have to press these two, okay? Um, are we getting instructions for the piano keys? Yes. You will. The piano keys instructions are in your pattern, but I will be doing a video on them too. Yep. I'm just trying to get to the point that... Um, I'm ready with mine, and I'm not there yet, okay? So um, as soon as I'm ready with mine, we'll be able to do that part, okay? Press dryer steam, either one, whichever one you want to do, Peggy. I'm pressing dry right now, but you may press dry or with steam. Just be careful with steam not to stretch it. That's why it would. it's nice to use one of these... Um, wool pressing mats because they tend to not they tend to not um, stretch. Oh, here's another one. Yeah, it is really handy, Pam, for this one. You iron then the front. Yeah, I tend to iron both sides. I'm kind of like an iron fanatic. Brenda did her four patches last night. She thinks she loves it so much because it's like bringing in a tiny bit of the quilt shop home. Oh, that's cool. That, that is a neat way to think of it. Yep. I tend to iron both sides. I just really, I'm, a, I'm an iron -em. I'm an ironer. Ask my family. Oops, sorry. What'd you do, Cap Mary? Mary, were you the one? <laughs> Dear, it's okay. I know. I know that the first month there's going to be a couple couple that things that happen like that and it's really no big deal guys. We'll be okay. All right? We definitely will be okay. Oh, back to what I was saying. Hi Brenda. We went over the swap things quick like Brenda Make certain that you double check your, um, I don't know about yours directly, just in general we did. Make sure you double check your stitch length and make sure that when you um, sew your two together that you do the best that you can do. Um, <laughs> you do the best that you can do to butt your seams together. <laughs> You're so funny, Mary. I'm trying not to delete people, guys. I really don't want to. I like having you guys around. I know. Goofy, I know. Oh, I can't wait to turn this one over. See, the other thing that happens when I get to press them, I sit here and I get to start with the back. I try to start with the back side without pick, peeking at them. Then I just have to turn them over so I can see the other side and see what... Oh, isn't that sweet? Look, guys. Look. How do you get the little squares in the middle? When you press your fabrics, okay, you press them, and then when you go to lay them together, I don't want to burn myself on the iron. When you go to lay them together, just butt your seams up really close together. And then when you put it through the sewing machine, put the part that's the fold over through first. There's a, um, there is a, oh, yes, I will. Remind me in just a second, Krusty. There's a um, video right here on my YouTube channel. All right. And that will walk you through it step by step. Okay, um, Sammy D, enjoy. Yes, I believe the pattern for this quilt are still available. It's not showing sold out. Um, yeah, the pattern is still available. I think she means how to spin it. Oh, sure. That's easy. Okay. When you take it, you got, the, you got a hold of it like this. Okay, here's my two pieces. All right. So I got a hold of it. So what I'm going to do, I'll come closer to the camera so that you really can see it. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to hold it towards that gray. I'm going to take this piece and hold it towards there. And what's going to happen is, see, it just pops those stitches right out there. That's it. That's all you have to do. Okay. All right. Okay. So this morning... Okay. This morning on the Facebook group, Somebody, I don't know if that person's here or not, said that they. I asked if, who was going to be on live with me today. And a bunch of people, you know, came back and said they were going to be. And one lady came back and said her husband always wants to go to the home improvement store just about the time that they, I come on live. Well... Can somebody, the Julie, the blouse pattern will be available as soon as I do. The pattern's not up for the, sh for the shirt back there yet, okay? It will be up as soon as I finish the video, okay? So, she said that all the time, she was in her pajamas. So, hopefully that meant that her husband wasn't going to ask her to go to the grocery store or go to the home goods store because she didn't want to go. She wanted to stay on live. Well, guess what? When I was, when the kids went, were in school, I went back to college as an adult. So I used to, on weekends, purposely get up, put clean pajamas on and not get dressed because Yes, it does run true to size faith because if I got dressed, everybody was trying to, yes, you can get the pattern, yep. So everybody was trying to get me to leave the house and I didn't want to go anyplace. I had homework to do or house cleaning to do. I didn't want to go anyplace, okay? It just was not what I wanted to do. So I purposely would not get dressed. Well, as time went on, that kind of carried itself through other parts of my life or other days in my life. Well, one day my mother came over to spend the day with me, my sweet, sweet mom. She comes over and she's going to spend the day with me. My husband was off doing something. My kids were all married and gone by then. And mom and I were just sitting there having a relaxing day. And a couple of times my mom said to me, Margaret, don't you want to get dressed? And I'm like, no, mom, I don't. I'm really comfy in my pajamas. So she said, okay, and she left me alone. Well, then my daughter Tracy called us. She wanted us to come down and see her new sewing room. Hello, Deb. So, guys, you are not going to believe this. So, my mom says to me again, aren't you going to go get dressed? And I said, oh, it is a true story, isn't it, Mom? My mom says to me again, aren't you going to go get dressed? And I said, Mom, we're going to Tracy's to see your new sewing room. I don't have to get dressed. Why should I? It's just Tracy's. I get out of the car at Tracy's. Up goes the garage door. They were having a 50th surprise birthday party for me. And here I was in my pajamas. Now, the good thing about it was, was that I had clothing on under the pajamas. Not street clothing, but I was somewhat dressed. But here I am in my pajamas at my 50th birthday party. You would, guys, I leaned against the house. If I could have disappeared in that instance of my life, I would have disappeared. Okay? So my suggestion to you guys is don't ever leave the house unless you're dressed. Okay? Because I... I still do it. I got caught once and I still do it. 
I hate when that happens. I do too. Uh, I know the lesson is always listen to your mom. <laughs> I was relaxed and I was having a very, very nice day. So, yes, I got one of my own patches. So, yeah, don't ever leave the house without being dressed, guys. It's just not good. You don't do it. You just don't do it. Hello, Barb. I know. I love that Mom didn't ruin my surprise, too. And I got to tell you, I was in shock. I, I just could not believe it. I could not, and my sisters couldn't believe it. If you could have seen the look on my sister Sue's face when I got out of the car in my pajamas. Of course, my children were betting that that's how I was going to come. Oh, Shirley, I, Cheryl, I take AJ and Sarah to school in my pajamas. Yeah, I, I, I take them when I'm out there all the time. So it's like, you know, I should learn my lesson. <laughs> oh, I do love my jammies. I do. You're right, Lindsay. I did have fun. And I was comfortable. <laughs> it was really comfy. Yeah. Oh, I understand that, Paradise Mom. I would... I would, my kids are used to it, though, because remember, they grew up, well, their teenage years, because I was in college, and I always had to study on Saturdays and Sundays, they didn't, um, they knew that I don't get dressed on weekends. Yeah, so consequently, um, they did very, very good with it. But, yeah, I learned my lesson. Don't do that. That's not how you want to do that. Bye, Gail. Have a good day. Oh, I know what I wanted to ask. I forgot. Um, where I have been thinking about doing a um block of the month in October, guys. Who's up for a block of the month come October? It would go October to. Let's see, October, November, December, January, February, probably March. Six months. Anybody in for it? Oh, Sherry's in for it. Good. Joy is too. Okay, so is Pam. All right. <laughs> Diane's still in her pajamas. Good girl, Diane. Let's see. Um, When running around for... I did. Who can get, oh, I know, I'm all, I do immediately. Yep, you got it, Carrie, I'm the same way. I do too. Okay, Gail, you're in for a block of the month? Cool. Okay, Libby's uh, good in probably, I don't get dressed unless I'm going somewhere. I get that one, Diane. I only get dressed for you guys on Sundays. Count me in. Okay. All right. Um, Sammy D still in her pajamas. Good girl, Sammy. <laughs> uh, I'm in. Would we use our own fabrics? And do you do a tutorial on the blocks? Yes. To well, I will have fabric kits. If you choose to do it with your own, that's fine. I will have fabric kits, and um, yes, I will do tutorials on the blocks. Is it, do, um, no clue on the cost, Brenda. I'm just trying to figure out if anybody's in for it or not. I'm staying in. <laughs> oh, Gail, you're always watching out for me to make sure I don't mess something up. Uh, that's okay if you're a little bit behind on Sarah Star. What I wanted to do was I want to do another one that's that does a lot of lessons around it. So um, 
blocks that give you some basics and then blocks that are just a little bit more difficult so that we can um, so that we can figure out you know learn new things you know I don't want to I want to learn new things all the time so I figure maybe we would do a little bit of both how's that sound I wanted to do some that was a little bit of um, maybe top stitch applique in it and piecing in it and all that stuff you never done one? Oh, okay. Um, how a block of the month works is people don't, what happens is every single month you make a different block or two different blocks and then when you get all done, then you, um, then you put it all together. Okay? Yep. So that's what we do. Okay. Going to take my Kentucky Sarah. Oh, good. Oh, Brenda, that was just beautiful. Yeah, they are fun to do because you learn all different skills with them, okay? Yeah, so that would be good. Yeah, they're your blocks to keep, Audrey. Yep. That one, I do the, um, swap in April and I'll come up with another swap next April but I do the swaps in April and then I do the um then I want to do a block of the month and I was thinking it would be good to do it from October to March okay so that's what I was thinking whoops So, okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay. Oh, Carrie, my father used to tell us all the time, you were not allowed to wear white, white pants or white shoes from, um, what was it, from, from Labor Day to Memorial Day. Um, the blocks, I think, are going to be all different sizes, and I think we're going to sash them and put them together. I, I, I like it when there's all different size blocks, okay? I, that's what I'm doing. That, um, that's up to you guys if you want to sew your four patches together while we're on. Yep, you'll get the pattern from me every month. Yep. So, um, I just thought it would be a good idea for something to do. So, I thought it would be something fun. Maybe having knee surgery in October, but... Okay, good, Kay. I hope your surgery goes good. Pajama pants and flannel shirts. That, oh, okay. Um... Yeah, Teresa, that's what I thought, that we just would all keep learning new and different things then, because that's kind of fun. Oh, yeah, we're, yeah, we're not, I'm not that casual. Okay, good, Teresa. Carol's, what's question? Carol, Carol, looking for ideas. For what, Carol? Carol, let's see. Question for you ladies. I'm ready to start quilting my half square triangle swap. Oh, um, I would suggest that you keep the quilting simple. I would not do a lot of quilting on it because if you do all kinds of quilting on it, you're not going to see the quilting, okay? So I would, um, do you have a hand sewing lap pillow? Somebody told me to use, um, one of those nursing pillows. I have a frame that I put my stuff on and, um, and it kind of helps support it for me. Yeah, I would really 
go more towards the Oh, no, correct, Marley. You're not sewing your blocks together yet. No, please don't do that yet. It's not time yet. No. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, Suzanne, around the lines of a sampler quilt. Yeah. Yep. Oh, thank you, Carrie. Yup, a stippling design, Carol, would be good, but I, no matter what you do, the two things that I would suggest is don't do it tightly and keep it very simple because you're never going to see it. So you're going to do all that work and you're not going to see it. Yup, keep it loose. I agree. Guys, you aren't going to believe I'm going to get all these four patches pressed just during our live today, which will be really cool. Yeah. I've been hand sewing. Well, part machine, part hand on um, my double wedding ring. Oh, Brenda, cool. I love double wedding ring quilts. They are just beautiful. The one that I want to do someday is a cathedral window quilt. That's really the one I want to do. Two new zippy bags. <laughs> yeah, you guys are going to get a new zip bag every month. We just found that it was easier. And um, the other thing that, that we're doing is your next blocks are also coming your fabrics are coming in a new zip bag and that's because I'm packaging those up ahead of time like I have almost a full tote already done I haven't seen you iron mine hope you got some of me too it's hard to this one's cute is anybody on that calls for this one yeah, Mom, I thought, no, I don't think I've seen any of your fabrics yet. Oh, this one could be my mother's. Is this my mom's? Hand quilting. Oh, Diane, they'd be beautiful. Hand quilted. Just think of all the time that you're going to be able to sit there and look at all of those blocks and remember what we did together. That would be really cool. There I go getting all sappy again, guys. I am sappy. Yep. So um, just keep it simple and have fun with it, I think. I'm trying to see how many people. Oh, gosh, we have a lot of viewers today, guys. Uh, hi, Lisa. How are you? I've always wanted to do a, yeah, I've always wanted to do one. Oh, that would be cool. Suzanne did a cathedral window clip with um, blue jeans and men's shirts. That would be cool. Bye, Carrie. If you have to leave, somebody said you have to leave. Anyhow, so yeah, I want to do a cathedral window someday. And someday I will. i just not ready. Um, baseball season starts tomorrow night for us. So, um, have you seen a color or colors that tons of people have been doing? No. Mm -mm. There's a real, all different. Yeah, look at this one. Really cool. Off to the golf course. Oh, have fun. Oh, have you noticed purples? Yeah, I'm... Yeah, there's a couple purple, but I don't think there's an abundance of any one color at this point. I haven't seen one. Yeah. This is yours, Sherry? I think this one's cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, just, um, 
No, there's a lot of different color here. A lot of it. I'm, I'm, it's a good array, which is nice. I figure after next month's swap, I'll show you guys how to put the blocks together, okay? Oh, cool, Sherry. Oh, thank you for the reminder, Diane. I always forget that, guys. Um, please like, do that thumbs up button, and share, okay? I bet it is heavy. Oh, that's a good idea, Suzanne. I bet it is heavy. That Blue Jean Cathedral window quilt, her son carries it in the car to, um, in the cold Michigan nights in the winter. <laughs> I bet there will be more. I have a feeling there'll be more purple. We'll be okay. <laughs> we all. I know. Getting the block done is, when you get that first one done, and remember, there's only nine of them. So it's really, it's really quick putting together. Yeah. I agree. It'll be nice and fun to start doing that. So now that I'm almost completely done pressing my squares, and I have more than 66 here. No, I guess I only have the 66. I don't know how many I've got. I'll have to count them. I haven't counted mine yet. Um, oh, you're going to wait and do it till the end? Okay. Oh, you're doing a mini quilt? I've never done a mini quilt. I've never done one. Well, wait a minute. I can't say that. Yes, I have. I did do some. The most awesome a pattern. You're the most awesome a pattern. You're the bomb? Oh, cool. <laughs> I don't know that I'm, I don't feel like I'm much of a bomb, but okay. Yeah. I, I think this quilt is just going to be gorgeous. And one of the things that I like about it the best is that in the center, there's a block. So you don't have that absolutely great big, huge white space. You've got that block in there. And of course, we'll have a little black in there with a little touch of gray. So it'll be fun. Oh, there's a mini group. You've got one? Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm having, I'm having an awful lot of fun in my life, ladies. It's a good life. Even when there's a little bit of bad in it, you always got to find that good. You are not following the directions, LOL. First thing you're supposed to do is count them. I know, Marla. <laughs> Except for, you know, it's easy for me to just make another one. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mary. Oh, did you do a New York Beauty? Oh, cool. And you did it in a swap? Oh, cool. I know. I should have counted them first. I know you're just kidding. It just, I, I meant to do this during the Sunday Live. That's what I wanted to do so that while we were talking, we could, I could work on it. Because you know me, I like to try to get something, you know, something else done. I like to sew here. Um, liking my new machine, ladies, I love it. It is just, oh, that's something else I was supposed to tell you guys. I love my machine. It is just wonderful. Um, pretty soon, I'm thinking, not this week, maybe next week, my, um, my first blog post on um, We All Sew for Bernina will be up. So I'm really excited about that. And what I've done is I'm doing a video on the exact same project. So I'm writing the blog post and at the same time I'm doing a video. So you'll be able to get both of them. One of them from the Bernina We Also and the other one from right here on my YouTube channel. So I'm really excited about it. I think it's very exciting. And then this week on... Um, the Bernina website, we also on there under the um, 
experts. I'll be listed this week, I think. So I'm excited about that. I really am. I think it's great. Yeah. You are going to want to send it back when the year is up. Oh, no, I'm not going to want to. No, I'm not going to. Oh, I do too, Angela. It's a great site. They have a lot of really good products on projects on it. Yeah. I know, Deb. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, I highly doubt I'm going to want to um, give this up at the end of the year by any means, shape, or form. But um, maybe I won't. Maybe we'll just buy it. Oh, Lindsay got Boone's Hi, backpack I did. all I gotta done. Put, but I gotta put it. Hi, Lindsay everyone. just walked in. This is yours, Marla. I gotta put a chest strap on it. Oh, look! Look at Boone's little backpack. Hey guys. Lions here too. Hey, I got highlights. Isn't it cute? Hi, Michelle. The one, oh, this one's yours? Cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right. Oh, we're not at 2 o'clock yet. It's I still not, got a few I more minutes. Want, I, well, I wanted, we were coming oh. over because Bree needs her prom Thank dress you. hands by next weekend, of course. Because I'm really busy. <laughs> I don't have a time to talk Yeah, to you know how kids are. But I wanted to get over here so we could show the bag. Oh, that's beautiful, okay. Brie. Thank you. I love it. Come here. Let me see it. Okay, try out a, friend of, a friend Brie, of Lindsay. Put your pretty face on the camera, Brianna. Oh. This is my goddaughter. Go Lindsay's goddaughter is here with her prom dress. This is my first baby. <laughs> yeah. Here, hold this, Brie. Okay. Well, you know, it's that time of it's year like again. Top, you yeah. have to, um, it's got like, it's you like have to hem prom dresses, right? That's what right. that's what you do this it's time like of year. It's like a cold shoulder crop top with a long skirt. Hang on. Yeah, it's really really heavy. Heavy. Yeah, it is heavy. It's all embroidered. But I think that there's a double layering. Oh underneath. look, guys, look. There's a layer of. It's a. Like, it's a all embroidered. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that cool? This it's a it's skirt a and a. Um, top. Um, so let's see, dress like this. Is like Isn't that really pretty? It okay, here you go. Guys. Um, so two piece prom dresses are two all years away. Now. What are those two piece dresses? Oh, they and are. I got it on sale for like a hundred and five bucks. Very what? good. Where'd you get it? David's bridal was having a sale. Oh, cool. We like David's bridal when they have oh, a sale. Yes. Yeah, I do too. Yep. So we have to hem a um. Thank you, Angela. She is a sweetie. She is. She's my first baby. Yep. Here, this. Um, yeah, we're. Take it. This happens every year. We get yeah, down to the year. end right here, and and she pops in with a prom dress that needs to be done by next week. Like weekend. in a week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So we're we're it's gonna be prom dress hemming thing, this right? afternoon or oh, yeah. or tomorrow Where's at some point. So that's what's going on there. Yeah, it is a really, really pretty dress. Thank you. Yeah. I looked that far price more. looked up. Wow, that price. Uh, Brenda, I did. I missed that. I don't know what. Oh, hey guys. thank you, Michelle. Do you guys know who? No, is a ten-year-old and can't fit, and whose feet are too big for a sixteen-year-old prom dress, prom shoes. Well, that's because she, sure. yeah, Lion has tall. big feet because she's going to be tall. Yeah, I do really alterations short. on prom dresses every year. I'm on my 12th You're so far this year. Oh, my wow. goodness. Yeah. I and only have in my prom dress. I only do alterations okay, for families' dresses. I do not do alterations for that's so much anybody money. else. That's no, so I don't. Are you going to be on next Sunday? Sure I am. <laughs> Absolutely I'll be on. Yep, I'll be on next Sunday. This is my Mother's Day present. Yeah, prom. I made my girls prom dresses. Yeah. And I loved it. I loved doing it. 
Absolutely loved it. What did they look like? Shh. We'll show you pictures sometime. Yeah, they're she will. Really, Lion's really going to be really tall. That's <laughs> for certain. She is. She's not going to be short. No, Lion is no, going no. to be tall. My dad's side of the family is real tall. Yeah, my husband is taller. Yep. Um, okay, guys, we're going to congratulation. I look forward to seeing you on you. We also, I do too. I can't wait for the blog to come out. It'll be, it'll be really cool. It almost makes me start to want to itch to put my blog going again, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it is a lot more work. So yeah, I, I just I sew for. When it comes to that kind of stuff, I only do it for family, really. Last call. Thumbs up, please, guys. Okay. Oh, I've only got 34, 74 thumbs up. There's 158 of us. Next Sunday is Mother's Day. Are you going to do live? Yes, yeah. I will, Marla. I'll still be live next Sunday. Yep. Yep. You guys have a fantastic oh. week. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button for me, okay? It really does help. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you, Faith. Cool. All right. I'll see you guys next week. You guys have a fantastic week, okay? Bye. Oh, you guys got Tucker's tail.